Hello guys, Nick Clark here, welcome to Focus Fitness Trends. Today, today we're doing my new video, okay, which is when to train, okay, when is the best time to train, okay, and I thought this video would be a good idea to do, because people do ask me this question uh, for, uh, quite often, okay, when is the best time to train, okay, is it morning, afternoon, or evening, okay, and the answer I give is when you can fit it into that day, okay, that's not talking about skipping workouts, it's when you can fit it into that day, okay, there's always going to be some point in pretty much most days, okay, where you can fit in something, even if it's just 10 minutes, okay, or 25 minutes, or 30 minutes, or 60 minutes, okay, but say, take a 10 minute workout, for instance, right, get three hard bodyweight exercises, okay, take the intensity from a 60 minute workout, and put it into a 10 minute workout, condense it down, you're working harder in that 10 minute workout than you are the 60 minute because you can it down, shorten the time, and you're putting a, a hell of a lot of sort of um, hard work into t just 10 minutes. Okay, but with every workout, you should put intensity into it. But you condense it down to, like, say, that 10 minutes. Okay, do 10 minutes solid of three exercises, 10, 12 reps each. Okay, but continuously in a circuit fashion. Okay, so one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and so on until the 10 minutes is up. That will literally kick your ass. Okay. It, I have done it before and it kicked my ass, but I felt like I'd done something, okay? So it can actually be done in 10 minutes very, very effectively for building muscle, toning, bulking, explosiveness, power, strength, and so on. Okay, so it can be done. <coughs> but I'm not saying to ditch 60 minute workouts, I'm saying if you've got 60 minutes, go for 60 minutes. If you've only got 30, go for 30, okay? But you should only only be working out for 60 minutes maximum okay you do not want to be going over that now i don't mind it doesn't matter if you go over like say two three minutes maybe five you know sort of minutes maybe 10 maximum okay but i would say i would say five would be really your more, more your maximum that you want to be going over okay <clears throat> but if you're going if you're doing like say an hour and 20 an hour an hour and 30 two hours three hours what the hell are you doing why are you there for that long you don't need to be in the gym for three hours, okay? <clears throat> because one, that just tells me you're not working hard enough. There's no intensity in the workout, obviously. So, and, and the, basically, thirdly, there's no plan. Obviously, what, why would you be there for that long? You don't need to be there for that long. If you have a proper plan and you're working out, you're laying it all out on the line, okay, then... You should be able to do it in 60 minutes, okay, dead on, okay, or like I say, two, three minutes, doesn't really matter so much, okay, so if it's like, say, 61, 62 minutes, doesn't matter, but as long as you put the intensity into it, that's, that's about as long as you should be there, okay, maybe not even 60 minutes, it should be even only just 45 minutes, okay, so, but yeah, if, you, if you're there for far too long, then you're not working hard enough, clearly. And I've seen people do this before, and it, it just, it, it's not good, because y y your body's not going to get any time to really recover properly, okay? And you're going to have to take several days off just for, for, for what you've done, okay? And it's just not good for the body, okay, to be doing it for that long. Or if you, you want to be doing 60 minutes, shock it, and then obviously do the rest, okay? Uh, so... Don't be sort of taking forever or all day in the gym. There's no need to. Uh, like it's prescribed as 30 to 60 minutes per day. Okay, that's why the, you know there's parameters. That's that's why they're there. Okay, because that's all that needs to be done in that day. Okay, so not not doesn't have to be three hours a day. Okay, but <clears throat> obviously getting back onto the main part of the subject, obviously. When is the train? It, like I say, it's when you can fit it in. Okay, so when when there are opportunities during your day. Okay, say so, say you've got a meeting, but it's been delayed by two hours. Take one of those hours, or take the first hour to do a workout. Okay, even if it even if it doesn't take up the full hour, if it's just a forty-five minute workout, do a forty-five minute workout, do a thirty-minute workout, do something to be productive, okay? Obviously, one, it's going to re release those endorphins. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to be better for you. It's going to make you healthier and fitter, okay? And you're going to feel good out, out of it. I mean, because you've done some hard work, okay? Oh, yes, you're going to feel a bit tired, obviously, because you've just done a hard workout, okay? But, obviously, it's going to be rewarding because you're going to get the gains and the results that you want, okay? And that's what you want to be doing. But, also, if 
But basically, if we break this down to percentages, training is 30% of the work. And the other 70% that's left, can you guess what that is? It's nutrition. It's nutrition. It's all about nutrition. Okay, you have to lock in your nutrition. You have to be feeding your body the right nutrients, okay, if you want to get the results you want. Okay? Also, because you're, you're breaking the muscles down in the gym. Okay, you're not building them, you're breaking them down. You're building your muscles in the kitchen. Okay, that's where the saying comes from. You build your muscles in the kitchen, okay, because you're feeding your body the nutrients. Okay, that's where they come back bigger, badder, better, stronger, harder, you know, more powerful, more, you know, stronger, and so on. Okay, so breaking it down is when you're doing the training, building them back up is when you're having the right nutrients. Okay, also drinking plenty of water, make sure you're well hydrated before your workouts because you're going to actually be 20% stronger. Okay, and I think I'd rather be 20% stronger than 20% weaker. Okay, so make sure you drink plenty of water, especially off here that someone's just like literally around the corner. Okay, we're going to need to be drinking plenty of water. Okay, so <clears throat> make sure you, you do do that. But yeah, there is no off here specific time in the day that you need to train. You you can train whenever you can train. Okay, I mean I mean results. Yes, have, like studies have shown in the past that your sugar levels are higher in the morning. So effectively, you think, oh yeah, I'm going to burn more. Okay, and people go with the good intention to go to the gym in the more early in the morning because their sugar levels are higher, obviously, and then they just sort of sit there on a bike reading a magazine, like pedaling at like say level two. What the fuck? I mean, why? Why? That, that there's no intention to actually do any hard work there. Why did you go to the gym if you weren't going to work? Why did you do that? You know, if you're going to go there early in the morning. You know, because you, you, you know you should go with higher in the morning, then go there and do the hard work. Okay, if you can go there in the afternoon, go there and do the hard work. Evening, same. Just do the hard work. I mean, when you go to the gym, bring it down, uh, breaking it down basically is, is you're not there, okay, to chat to your friends, you're not there to chat up some chick, and you're not there to impress some bird or stare at some bird's ass, okay? You're there to do the work. You're there to work out because you have a plan. Okay? You're not going to build bigger biceps or a bigger chest or or stronger muscles by looking at somebody else, looking at some bird in the corner. Okay? Or texting, or talking to someone on the phone, or talking to your friend right next to you and not doing any work. Okay? Or taking too much of a long rest period. Okay? You you're there to do the work. Okay? If, you, if, you, if you're only having short rest periods, then yes, that's going to stop muscles, that's going to get you results. If you're taking forever with your rest periods, you're, you're, you're taking, you know, four or five minutes between sort of sets, what are you doing? You know, the, the, you might have just not have even bothered going to the gym, okay? That, that is a bugbear of mine, is if you go there, you, you focus, okay? You get yourself in a mindset, you get yourself in that zone, and you work out and you work hard. When you're finished, yeah, text, phone people, do whatever you want, okay? Because that's after your workout, okay? Or even before your workout. But when you're working out, when you're in there, in the, in the gym, or at home, or somewhere on the road, and, and, you, and you just want to do a workout, get yourself in that zone and train. Train hard, lay it all out on line, lay it all out on the floor, okay? Put everything you have into it, all the intensity that you possibly literally can, and then go and have some good nutrition, like good amount of protein, good amount of carbs, and veg, fruit, and so on. Okay, all the stuff is going to give you the great nutrients that you need. Okay, so don't sit there and, you know, sort of talk to people forever. Okay, if you need to answer something quickly, then fair enough. Okay, but do not, don't go there and just sort of coast through the workout. Okay, do it properly. Okay, but like I said, you can, but, also, now that, that doesn't matter, again, if it's in the morning, afternoon, or evening, it's when you can fit it in. But that's if people do it in the morning. Some people go in the afternoon because they have lunch breaks where they can fit or work out into. Okay? They may even do it in their office. You know, Some people can do it after work. Okay? But again, it really doesn't matter when you train, it's when you can fit it in. Like I say, take the opportunities when they arise. If the opportunity is somewhere in that day, Take it and go for it. 
Okay, like I say, even if it is just a 10 minute workout. But on the other hand, if something does come up, like a massive emergency that you cannot avoid, like with a family or, or where you have to do something that, that, that's really, really urgent and you can't do it that day, then okay, that, that's an unforeseeable thing. Okay, you can't avoid that. Okay, so the next time, what you do the next time is when you do your next workout, is you add maybe a setting or add, uh, you know, uh, an extra sort of few repetitions or shorten the rest period or break it down or, or add a different element like a one and a half rep, you know, um, sort of exercise, you know, or, you know, add, add a completely different new exercise as well, you know, uh, and, and make or say, say, maybe your rest period a little bit shorter than you would normally, okay, obviously in that way, you can then make up for the workout you lost. So as I say, if there is a dire emergency, then obviously, yeah, you have to sort of sort that out. But usually on a normal day, you'll be able to fit something in. There's always somewhere with some sort of time, okay? I mean, I mean even family, I, I have to work things around my family. I have to work things around my work, okay? So, so that I can fit my workouts in. But I do fit them in, okay? I can actually fit them in, okay? Sometimes it is a little bit difficult, but sometimes I'm working out late at night because it's the only time I can fit it in. But I know I've been able to fit it in and I've had that intention to fit it in, okay? Because I've gone with that mindset that I know I'm gonna do the workout, okay? So make sure that you have that, that intention, that proper intention to prioritize your workout somewhere during the day, whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening, or even late evening, or really early morning, or late afternoon, or early afternoon, wherever, okay? But just take that intention and put the intensity into a workout when you do it. So it doesn't matter when you work out as long as you fit it into that day. Okay, on a normal, normal day, okay, when nothing bad happens, okay, on, on a normal day, just make sure that you fit it in, okay? Put the hard intensity into it, or fit into, into all your work, okay? And, and do it properly with, good, with great form as well, and make sure then you have the right nutrition after those workouts, okay? But guys, that, that, that is basically, that is a simple way of putting it. It, is, it doesn't matter what time of the day you train, as long as you train, as long as you do it, okay? But anyway, guys, that is the when to train video in the books. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. Plus, I hope it did answer your questions, if you had that sort of a question, okay? Um, also, don't forget to, obviously, subscribe to our YouTube channel, obviously here, on Focus Fitness, but make sure you don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google Plus as well. And like I said, hit here on the subscribe button on the YouTube channel, Focus Fitness. Obviously, we'll be seeing some other videos up here for my body workouts, okay? And the symbol will appear, obviously, for subscribing as well, okay? If you haven't hit the link the button in the link below, Okay. Also, if you think it's going to help a friend or a family member, get them involved so they can follow us every single step away and never miss a video post on this channel. Okay, <coughs> but like I said, obviously, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, obviously, like I say, give it a thumbs up and a like if you did. Obviously, leave any comments about the video that you want. Uh, obviously, sort of a. Uh, um, that you, that you thought about a video or for anything you think I left out, okay, or if you've got any requests for other videos or similar videos like this, then leave those in the comment section below as well. But like I said, make sure you guys obviously give it a thumbs up and like, or if you don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in a few of my brand new video. Okay, cheers, bye.